Shadow Coast here and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. In this video we're going to outline how to trigger the Cyber Psycho Bloody Ritual. This is a really tough Cyber Psycho. She has a Mantis Blades. But what's actually interesting about this and why I'm posting a video is that it took me forever to figure out how to trigger the what actual the fight. So when you enter here and before we begin we're in Watson. This is fairly early game. Um, we're level I think 8 or 9. Uh, we are playing as a Netrunner Stealth, so these Cyber Psychos tend to be very difficult because we have not upgraded our uh, Cyberware um, and abilities yet. Long story short, uh, it's in Watson, over here by the docks, uh, and we're going to show you how to trigger okay? the actual fight, and then hopefully uh, we'll be able to do it. From the, ancestors eyes. the hell is this? So this guy says something. You can actually loot him. And he has a Maelstrom Cultist Shard, so we can actually hack that. So come over here to your shards. The shard is called It's Time. We will crack it. 1C551C. So 1C551C. And we're going to have to open it again. We'll actually take a look at what it says. It's time. Everything's ready. The circle is drawn. The lamb awaits the slaughter. Blah, blah, blah. The abyss is hungry. That is ominous. Anyways, we still don't see a cyber psycho. It says search the area to collect information. Well, what you have to do is scan some of the bodies. And as you're scanning the bodies, you're going to see that thing where it just went super weird. And after a second of scanning these bodies, you'll be able to come over here and examine oh, this thing. And I don't know what's in there, but it doesn't look good. After you do that, you actually have to scan the freezer. And once you do that, give it a second. And you're going to see the Cyber Psycho there. And then it she disappears. Next, come over here. You could. It doesn't matter the order, but scan the trash. Then come over here and examine. And I actually, before we start combat, I need to short circuit Synapse Burn. This this is a hard fight because I'm a Netrunner and there's really no amount of hacking that we can do that is going to help us in any way, shape, or form. So we're just going to have to fight this one out. It freaked out again and give it a second. When you look away and look there, there's the Cyber Psycho. Zaria Hughes, Maelstrom, Wanted in Night City. Uh, she's a tough one. So here's how we take on the fight. We're going to shoot her a few times. Hopefully light her on fire. It's really not doing anything. Um, and we're going to use the freezer to our advantage. Uh, or try to. And... Like I said, she can eviscerate you, and she just literally eviscerated us. But we're going to take this fight on again and try to do it the right way. Um, you basically want to use the freezer to stay around her and then synapse burn her uh, when you can. Um, also, when we think about this fight, where is my inventory down here? Max stock, frag grenade, okay. So we're going to shoot her a little bit. Nothing's going to happen because she's going to reset. And we're just going to throw grenades at her and breach protocol. Okay, E9 BD. So E9, how do we get to e an E9? E9, so go E9 BD. And we're going to straight up synapse burner. Um, and we're just going to keep throwing grenades at her because she is super hard to kill. And I don't know why we keep switching weapons.
And again, I'm a net runner, so like, I don't know why it keeps doing this to me, but it keeps switching the the weapon I have, and we're just using grenades to try to. Now, once we get her down to 5% or so, she's going to pull her shit again and disappear. And you just have to be head on a swivel. And boom. She's back. So this is why this fight is so darn frustrating. You can do everything right and then she can heal. Okay, so we're going to we're going to do it one more time. So here's the strategy. You just gotta kind of cheese her all it because she will heal herself. As we saw, we have to keep her out of the circle. And keep her out of the circle. going to breach protocoler BD1C and we're gonna search her so we're gonna read this shard uh, maybe read the shard why won't you let me read the shard bugs bugs well we'll read the shard come down here uh, the boys have prepared everything and found me a lamb. Blood will course through the fiber optics, swirling and blending the digital opening. Death with in arm's reach. The metallic taste of his scythe on my tongue. I will tug at the tangled cables of fate. A hard reset, a blue screen, a brain reformatted. I'm ready. Luck be with me. So that's how you beat her. We, uh, sort of ended up killing her. Um, unfortunately, which is not... Something about this ritual went wrong, seriously wrong. Place covered in guts might must have been something to do. Anyway, at least we have her alive. So I guess technically, um, Tecto ne Necromancers, without a doubt. Oh. Um, looks like it was supposed to be some trip to the other side. It's true, women are less likely to get cyberpsychosis. All the better we have her alive for the research. Something about this ritual went wrong. Okay. So, there you go. That's how you beat uh, the Cyber Psycho Bloody Ritual. That's how you trigger it and then beat her. Uh, I guess we did take her alive, luckily. So, that's a good thing. Although, she's kind of laying there. Um, I thought we might have blown her up. But, if you don't, as we saw in the earlier fight, she'll... Uh, jump in the tub and regenerate so you have to kind of keep her out of this circle so hopefully you found this video helpful i'm actively trying to grow my channel so please consider uh supporting your channel by subscribing and or dropping this video a thumbs up thanks so much for your time and hope to see you in future videos shadow coast out